Good evening, Mr. Bond fans, and welcome once again. Following on from my review of the Welcome to Japan Mr. Bond TV special from the 1960s, I had a bit of a deep dive into some of the stranger archival features that can be found on the Bond home media discs, and without a doubt, one of the most unique I've come across can be found on the Live and Let Die discs, and it shows Roger Moore playing James Bond nine years before his first Bond film would be released. As introduced by Bond producer Michael G. Wilson, this is a clip from the light entertainment show Mainly Millicent, a starring vehicle for British comedian and performer Millicent Martin, and by all accounts, this was a variety show with musical numbers and comedy sketches, and joining Millicent would be weekly guests, and it just so happens that the actor booked to star alongside her in an episode featuring a skit about spies was none other than Roger Moore, a TV star in his own right at the time, thanks to The Saint. But what makes this really bizarre is that the character Moore is playing is called James Bond. It's a bizarre bit of real-life foreshadowing, as well as an interesting time capsule of the era in which it was made, but is this something of an unofficial screen test for Roger Moore in the role of James Bond, or could anyone have played the part on this comedy sketch show? Let's take a closer look, shall we? Besides the short introduction from Michael G. Wilson, there isn't much in the way of context for where this segment would have played, but there is an opening narration which sets the scene for the audience. Sometimes spies have to do the normal things that other people do. Like, take a holiday, for instance. Even James Bond. The trouble is, does anybody else believe they're on holiday? Especially another spy. Okay, so James Bond on a normal holiday is a good premise for a sketch, and already I'm kind of fixated on this lady in the background who I assume is drinking real alcohol here, as she looks right down the lens of the camera and fidgets around a bit as if she's resisting the urge to wave and bellow, Hi, Mum, I'm on the telly. But after that opening shot, we're straight into things. Ladies and gentlemen, Roger Moore as James Bond. Yes. That's quite a nice little casino you've got there. I can't quite tell if the audience applause is canned, or if everyone was just kind of electrocuted awake to start clapping at that precise moment. Quite a nice little casino you've got there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Judging from the tepid response to the first gag of the skit, maybe they needed some extra couple of shocks. Over there, Mr. Bond. Yes, well, I uh, am on holiday. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Smith. Or maybe it's just a bad gag. I mean, I don't get it. Was that a topical thing, Mr. Smith? Like, I get the gag. I get that the waiter was expecting a larger tip and then Bond just gives him a coin, but what's the Mr. Smith thing about? Oh well, not every gag can be perfect. Let's press on. Oh, oh! Yes, and I'm 007, as if you didn't know. Oh, oh! This is gonna be a long seven minutes. That's the kind of gag that works on paper, but it's like the performers didn't even really know how to deliver the gag, and I, I should point out that this entire thing is like one taken in the can, so I, I don't know if it was broadcast live, but it certainly wouldn't surprise me if it was. There's so much in here that you'd think better judgement would dictate at least a second take, but I suppose that was not a luxury that this production had. By the way, if you recognise this lady but can't quite place where I know Millicent Martin more from some of her later stuff, including sporting roles on Grace and Frankie, and my favourite American sitcom Frasier, where she played Daphne Moon's mum. Hello, Gert! For 40 years I've been a good wife to you, raising your children and boiling your meals, and letting you work off your animal lusts, and all I get for my trouble is a cheery, hello, Gert! Well, your fatal charm is not gonna work this time, so you can drag your sorry ass back to that bar stool it normally sags over, and leave me the hell alone! Thank you, Niles, that was a nice surprise. <laughs> You're right. She has mellowed. Anyway, on with the sketch. Um, what was I saying about second takes? And what may I ask is Sonia Slakova, Russia's master spy, doing staying at my hotel. <laughs> okay, so I do find it quite hilarious that the guy just throws himself over the ledge, but I also love that in the background a few moments later we see this lady casually saunter over to check on her fella, and then just as casually saunter away. Oh well, at least I'll have two seats to myself on the plane ride home. So the premise of the sketch is two agents, James Bond and a Russian spy named Sonia, are on holiday trying to relax, but they're unable to relax, and they can't stop thinking about work, and they're also trying to one-up each other. Obviously, the point of most interest for Bond fans is seeing Roger Moore playing the part long before his official casting, and even though this is a comedy skit, I have to say, he plays Bond much harsher here than he does in most of his films. He does a lot of scowling and shouting. He's certainly not playing it smooth and debonair like he would in some of his later films. The charming element of 
more is missing. Even in the little bits where the agents are coming on to each other, he's not really charming her. He's giving her cruel snarls rather than come hither eyes. It's worth noting this sketch aired in July of 1964, a few months before the third Connery Bond film Goldfinger was released. So I guess if Roger was to be basing his performance on anything, it would be the first two Connery films before Goldfinger made the trademark humor of the character more overt. Or maybe Moore is basing his performance of Bond on the books, if he even read any at that point. I mean, I guess that the character would have been well known enough in the public consciousness. Or maybe his only direction was, you know, you're playing a tough guy spy and this thing's gonna last for six minutes and people will see it once, so just get on there and do it. It's certainly not the best parody of James Bond I've ever seen, and to say that the sketch has Bond call out vodka as a communist drink, despite obviously enjoying the alcohol in both the books and the films, obviously a lot of thought didn't go into making this a terribly accurate portrayal of the James Bond character. What would you have? Vodka, of course. Communist, I'll have a whiskey. Yes, Indeed, even calling the character James Bond feels somewhat arbitrary. Roger Moore could equally be playing Colin Flapwell and it wouldn't make a difference to the overall piece. There are a good few Bond references thrown in here though, which I appreciated, whether or not they were intended. Fancy letting me steal Dr. Watt right from under your very nose. You left this between the sheets. Ah! Don't worry, it's harmless. Another thing I wanted to ask you, yes. that time in Casablanca when Spectre were after the boat robbers. Spectre? Better watch out with that one. Need I remind you of all the litigation and legal action that was taking place at the time? <gasps> Oh God, it's Kevin McClory with a court summons. Run! Besides the curiosity factor of Maul's performance though, is there much to gain from revisiting this? Well, nah, not really. I mean, the best aspect of the piece is these two charming actors, who I like very much playing off each other, and they have some really nice chemistry, and some of the gags even got a, a little chuckle out of me. Sonia, you should come over to our side. I've put a good word for you. Please don't call me Sonia. Here I am known as plain Misomsky Strada Nakonarovich. <laughs> but a surprising amount are met with cold silence or a single titter from the audience. Yes, it would be nice, but you have to remember, Sonia, that any second I can become Special Agent 007 licensed to kill. I don't care. I'm 006 licensed to surrender. I do kind of love how they seem genuinely stunned by Moore giving this guy a judo chop to the belly, though. <laughs> oh dear lord, I thought this was a family show. As well as falling flat, there are a couple of things that go way over my head, and I can only assume they were topical for the time. <laughs> They do say just a little dabble, do you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Dab. I, I totally get that reference. <laughs> A couple of the better moments of the sketch are actually bits where the actors are clearly fluffing up or reacting to something totally accidental, but Moore and Martin are such pros, they even improv a little after Martin takes quite a sudden fall. Well, that's the end of my holiday. Yes, mine too. No more being... Whoa. Oh. And the end of me. Yes. <laughs> well, it was a nice trip. While it lasted, yeah. And that's the main bit of joy to get from this whole thing, really. I don't think it's terribly funny, but I like these performers a lot, and if you're as big a Roger Moore fan as I am, then you might get something more out of this. And I'm glad that someone somewhere saw this in some TV channel archive and said, hey, we need to include this on a Bond disc, because this is the kind of stuff that I love unearthing on the Bond Blu-rays. It's not much more than just a curio of Bond history. I don't think this was like a blueprint for Roger Moore's portrayal of Bond. He'd go on to play almost a decade later, but you know what? If you have the Live and Let Die disc to hand and you have access to this short, it's well worth checking out. That is it for this time, Bond fans, but I'll be back soon looking at more pieces from the archive of James Bond's long history with television. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the comment section below, and below you can also find links to my various social media pages, including my Twitter and my Facebook and my Patreon page if you wish to go one extra step in supporting this channel. And until next time, Bond fans, so long for now. Well, it's back to being normal, huh? Yes. Back to duty again. Back being a spy. <laughs> <laughs>